happy birthday, mom. We love you so much and wanted to show you just how much we care about you. Uh, here are just a few of the people who have been impacted by knowing the wonderful Anastelle Ladd Pitcher. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday! No fart. Happy birthday, Anne! Welcome to sixty. That's what yeah, I just said. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Anne! Happy birthday to you! Woo! Happy birthday to a very special place. Nine at nine loves you. Bon anniversaire! Happy birthday from Provence. 60 ans. Ah. Incroyable. <laughs> happy birthday to my fellow June 5th oh, Gemini, greatest redhead friend in the world. I'm so excited to be celebrating your 60th birthday with you today. And I look forward to many, many, many more years of celebrating our friendships and our birthdays for a long, long time. Have a great one. Hey, Anne, happy birthday. 60 never looked better on anyone. Love you. So many things to say to Anne on her 60th birthday celebration. Where to begin? Well, we decided to skip the embarrassing stuff, like raw chicken fights with your little sister, Nancy, damaging my old cutlass while your mom and I were in Europe, and having it repainted to look like it never happened, escaping from the New Canaan police with your buddies from the Lake Club, but not from the consequences at home, I might add. No, we're not going to mention any of that stuff tonight. Tonight, we're just here to tell you the past 60 years have been a joy and a blessing having you for our daughter. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Annie! Yo! Hey there, Annie. Congrats on the big 6-0. -oh. You uh, might be a grandma now, but you sure don't act or look like it. So, hope you have a great day. Love you. Hello. And it's Kathy and Stanley from North Carolina calling to say happy, happy birthday for the second time and have a wonderful party. We're so sorry we're not there. We wish we could be there celebrating with you. Um, you're a great friend. You've been there for me through so many good times and bad times. You adopted me when I first moved there and included me with your family and all the family holidays and activities. And I. I just cherish you for that and love you. So cheers to 60 and hope to see you really soon. Love you. Coming to you from Jackson Palms Resort in wonderful Mesa, Arizona. Wishing my sister a happy 60th birthday. I love you so much. Thank you for always being a mentor to me and letting me raid your closet all these years. I'll probably do it again when I get there. Love you, have a great birthday. Hey Ann, it's Christy. I have my pickleball racket, but I could also have my paddle racket. I could also have my tennis racket because you are the queen of the sports and I love playing with you. It's been so much fun and I just wish you the happiest of birthdays. Here's to many more and to being out on the court together for a long, long time to come. Hey Ann, happy 60th birthday. You are such a fun friend and we have so many good times together and top of being just a very genuine and sweet person. So happy birthday, you enjoy today and the rest of this year as you deserve it more than anybody I know. Hi and happy birthday! Woo! Woo woo woo! 90 years old. Just kidding. Just kidding. That was a joke. Um, we are so grateful for you. We love you. Thanks for being the greatest grandma and mother in law and mom and all that in the world. We thank the world of you and can't wait to celebrate. Party! Woo 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 woo! Happy 60th birthday, Anne. My beautiful, strong, amazing friend of nearly 30 years. I am so honored to call you a dear, dear friend. My birthday wish for you comes from Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I thank you for always inspiring me with your unwavering examples of faith in everything you do. I love you 
and I, I hope you enjoy several more decades of fun and happiness and joy with family and friends. Hi, my friend. Uh, three things I remember about you all the time. One is how generous you are with your time with so many people in your life, both with bridges and your family as well as friends. The second thing is you've always been so kind and included our family in Easter since we've known you, which has meant so much to our family. And lastly, I love that you always thought of me and included me in the bike, the drive, which is one of my favorite things to do. I've missed a bunch, but a couple of times we went and it was such a gem of an experience and you were the reason for that. Thank you, my friend and happy birthday and you're the best. Hello, my beautiful friend, Anne Estelle. Happy 60th birthday. I hope you have a wonderful time. You know, if it wasn't for this, that I would be there with you, but unfortunately I'm still laid up. But I did hobble to the top of the steps to create the perception of what it felt like in our big yellow battleship bed in Grey Court junior year. Had so much fun with you that, that semester, and then again, all the other years. So many memories, which I won't you know, tell here because I'm sure your mom and dad are there. But anyway, wanted to make sure you got the prunes, enjoy them at the party, and uh, wanted to tell everybody that uh, Miss Anne was quite the dance machine, and there was one song in particular that uh, she enjoyed. Uh, have fun, happy family time, and let's play it out with Anne and the way she would dance. Great Annie smile, cute little red hair. Love you, Annie. Hello, Anne. You know I'm always better at writing this stuff down, so here goes. I remember a first kiss in the doorway of your apartment on Scott Street. Walking home afterwards thinking I had found the right person after so many mistakes and half-hearted attempts destined to be short-lived. You were and still are the one. That first kiss was followed by the euphoria of love and occasional fear you may, you may change your mind. The elation of our cool but small condo in Old Town, marriage, and Allie's birth, followed by the realization that this little package of sweetness and cheeks would send us to the suburbs. Another little precious package of life, Grant, demanded attention, nurturing, and devotion during early years on early months on Bowdoin Street while we faced the realities of suburban life. Our first home, with a great patio and backyard, we kept through personal and professional challenges, including a hernia to build that playground, which through the magic of an appreciating real estate market gave us the gift of a new home on an elm-covered Quincy Street. That was a wonderful place for Allie and Grant to be adolescents. More challenges, and a devotion from you that kept me going when it seemed too hard to keep trying. We lost parents, grandparents, and friends while learning to accept and respect the differences between them and ourselves. And we also experienced the sobriety of knowing we had to prepare for our children to move on with their own lives and help them leave the nest while keeping it open should they need to return. We've gotten to see our children grow into adults with confidence, starting their own lives on new pathways. And we've met the challenge of me paying the price for earlier approaching health as an occasional rather than a consistent obligation. And I've learned to love you again when all the barriers and excuses are gone. Every day reminds me of how much I love you and makes me want to be around for as long as possible to enjoy the gift that is you. Whether by chance, design, persistence or sheer luck, you are the person I care for and proud of and would have 10 more children with if possible. You have helped me be a better man and you are not only easy on the eyes, but you're always going to be the younger woman. Happy birthday. <laughs>